Hi, welcome to Silver Sneakers Fitness with Amy. I'm so glad you've joined me today for this workout. Now, Silver Sneakers is specifically designed with seniors in mind, taking into account range of motion, strengthening, balance, and core work. Now, uh, anyone though can do this workout. It's great for those of you maybe coming back from an illness or an injury or someone just starting out on their fitness journey. So try it out, see what you think. First off, make sure you have a nice flat level surface. Then we're gonna use a few tools, but the great news is if you don't have one or more of these tools, you can still do this workout and it will be really effective for you. So first off, we're gonna use free hand weights. I have five pound weights here. You may want to start with a one or a two and a half pound. The lighter the better because we do lots of repetitions. Now if you don't have these hand weights you can also use a can of some kind of food. Um, really any kind of canned weight or even a bottle of olive oil can be used as a weight and it works great in a pinch. Now another tool we're going to use is a ball. This can be any kind of a small-ish ball. You don't want to get any bigger than, say, around 10 inches around. Um, it's going to be used for balance and finger dexterity and some fun moves later on. The last thing we're going to use is an exercise band. These are great. And they come in all kinds of different intensities so that you can change the resistance on your band. So find one that's where you're at in your level. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use a TheraPan. You might have one of these, you just tie it together in a circle. And again though, if you don't have those bands, you can do the workout without. Okay, so have a glass of water nearby so that you can take those little breaks and stay hydrated. Keep yourself engaged, all those muscles head to toe, and of course, have fun. Let's start the music and get going. We're gonna go for about 40 minutes. All right, so we start with a warm up. Let's do a little march. Get those joints warmed up and ready to go. Step it up. All right, let's do a little step tap. We're gonna go to the right. Here we go, step tap. Good job, I'm using my arms. Curling those biceps side to side. Tap, tap, tap. Good job, getting those knees going. Three, two, one. Let's hold here, back to that march. We're gonna do a little bicep curl in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Down and up. You'll notice I'm holding my hands, spreading out those fingers. That's it. Four more. Three more. Then we're going to add a little leg move. One more. Let's add a heel touch. Good. We're getting it out there. Stretching out those legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Let's just do the right foot. One, two, three. Now left. Go. One, two, three. Now right. One, two, three. Now left. One, two, three. Now march it out. Good job. Let's do a big deep breath. Here we go. In, two, and down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, a little bit wider step. We're going to go wide and narrow. Here we go. Narrow and wide. Narrow and wide. Let's go. Woo! There you go. All right. Take it narrow. One, two, three. A little bend in those knees. Four, three, two. Now take it wide. Six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now we're going to add some arms. All right, we're going to press them down as we march narrow. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now take it wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take it narrow. One, two, little bend. Good. Four, three, Two, take it wide. Here we go. One. Woo. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Now march it out 
middle. Good job. All right, we're gonna step it out. Here we go. Out and in, out and in. Take that right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Good job. Ready to speed it up? Here we go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Good. You got this. Woo. Two more. One more. Good job. March it out. All right. We're going to add an arm move. Bend those arms 90 degrees. Lateral raise. Here we go. Up for two and down for two. Up for two and down. Let's single it out. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Good. You got it. Four more like this. Then we're going to add those legs. Three, two, one. Here we go. Add that step out and in. Step out and in. That's it. Woo! You got it. Couple more each side. Are you ready to speed it up? Here we go. One, two. Doesn't have to be a big step. We're just getting that side motion going. Those hips, tummy's in, keep breathing. Woo, two more both sides. One more, let's take it forward. Press back, round it forward, press it back. Good job, round forward, press back. One more time, press it back. Mashed potato, here we go. Woo. Good. We're gonna turn this into a little speed bag. Four, three, right foot, four. Here we go, let's speed back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll take it down, here we go. One, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, back is flat, tummy's in. Two, three, knees are soft, and up, two, Three, left leg out, down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four, you don't have to go low. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four, take those arms out, and in. Out, and in, good job. Out, and in, out, in, take them up, in. I'm squeezing those back muscles. Woo. Good job. Now take them down and in and up. Down. You got this. And up. Again. Take them down. Woo. And up. And down. And up. Good job. Let's do that big deep breath in again. <sighs> Breathe in. And take it out. All right, we're gonna take it down to our chair. Oh, let's walk around it to get going. All right, big steps. Get those arms going. All right, to the front of that chair. Go ahead, find your place. Sit it down. We're gonna continue our warm up. Getting strong. We're gonna. Here we go. Let's do a little heel touch out in front. Woo. You got it. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it wide. Woo. Four, three, two. Let's add some arms. Here we go. One, two. I'm reaching. Pull it back. Four, three, two, one. Now I pull across with the opposite arm. Woo! Back to the front, here we go. Front, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now alternate, right, left, right, left, right, left. One more time, here we go. One, two, it helps when I know what I'm doing. Four, three, two, one, and alternate. Woo. That's it, you got it. Woo! Now, toes, toes, lifting those heels, sitting up tall. That's it. 
Now, heel and toe. Heel and toe. Really getting into those ankles. Keep breathing. Almost there. One more. You got it. Feet come down. We're going to work those hands. Starfish hands. Let's take them up. Here we go. Up. Two. Three. Four. And back up and over. Really getting into those hands. Dexterity strengthening that arm. Up. Two. Three. Now right here we're going to reach. 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 Oh, that feels so good. And the side. The spine. The shoulders. Woo! Good job. Now take those legs wide. We're going to take it down. We're going to pull that potato out of the ground. <laughs> down. Pull back. Reach across. Pull back. Let's take it up to tempo. Down. Pull. Down. Remember, we're opening up the chest, the back, opening up that shoulder joint, and working it. There you go. Let's go the other side. Pull back and down. Pull back. Good job. Again, down. Pull back. One more. Let's speed it up. Here we go. Down. Woo. Two. Three. You got this. I'm even feeling my waist. Four. Woo. Three. Two. One. Good job. Now hold those hands down. We're just going to stretch it out. I'm pressing that inner thigh with my right hand. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale. And exhale, press other side. Seven, six, I'm giving a little press into that left leg. Three, two, one, good job. Bring those legs in, big inhale. Good job, and exhale. Woo, well done. All right, this is a great time to take a little sip of water. Gauge how you're feeling. On a scale of one to 10, one being resting on the couch, 10 passing out on a mountain top. You wanna be around that three, four area. You can feel the work. You might even start to be breathing harder. Your heart rate's going up a bit, but it's something that you can maintain. All right. Next up, we're gonna use our exercise band. Remember, like I was saying, the tool isn't the most important thing. The most important thing is that you are engaging those muscles, meaning you're flexing with every move. So, if I say with our band, we're going to reach and pull. Look, I can do it without the band. I'm flexing that back every time. And that's just what we're going to do. Grab your band by the handles, then go into the middle. So you've got, oh, about a foot and a half. Now you're going to decide the resistance that you need. We're going to take it up at about a 45 degree angle over our head and pull it down. This is working those big latissimus dorsi muscles up and down your back. Get ready. Three, two, one. We're going to go up for two and pull. Up. Pull down. Good job. And down. My knees are soft. Up and down. Let's do it together. Let's do singles. Two, three, good. Four, pull it down. Five, six, keep that tension on that band. Good, hold it here. We're gonna pull it apart. Two, three, four. I'm squeezing that upper back together. Nice job. Shake it out. All right. That was our first move. We're going to add on. Now, we're going to take it up and pull, and down and pull. Up and pull apart. Down, you got it. First up, though, we're going to get into a split stance. I want you to go, ahead and go to the side of your chair in case you need a little balance check. So, we're going to take that right foot in front, left foot at back, pulling that band up. The legs are stationary. Here we go. Take it up and pull down and pull apart. Up, pull apart, pull apart. That's it. Up and down. One more like this and down. Good.
Good job. Let's take it up, down, up, down. Woo! Up. There you go. Four more like this. Four, three, two. Keep that tension on. One. Good job. March it up. Shake out those shoulders. All right. We're going to get back into that split stance. We're going to do a little lunge. So, if you like, you can have that hand on the back of the chair. So we're gonna take it down for two and up for two. I'm just lowering my body, lowering my hips. There you go, you got this. Let's do one more like this. Then we're gonna do some singles, here we go. Eight, seven, six. Now, you don't have to go down far, you can just go down a couple inches. Three, that's it. Two, one, just hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, let's go back over to the other side. We're gonna get into that lunge. Now this time, left foot is forward, right foot is back. Now, it's better to have a wider stance because when you go down, you want this knee to stay over your heel. You don't want to be leaning over it. That hurts that knee. You want to stay right here. So it's straight up and down like an elevator. So find the side of that chair. Find your stance. Here we go. Down for two and up for two. Down for two and up. You got it. Down and up. One more like this. Down. Let's do some singles. Here we go. Eight. Seven, woo, six, five. Remember, reach out and grab that chair if need be. Three, two, and one. Now hold it here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. Shake it out. All right. We're going to do a little arrow pull. So back to that other side. Right foot forward. Now, my left, or my right hand rather, is out in front. My left hand is going to both pull that band back and release. So both hands are forward, pull back. Really getting into that back and chest. Three, two, one. So we pull back and release. Pull back, nice and controlled. I even feel this down into my core. Did you know you're working your core the whole time? Keep it tight. There you go, let's do some singles. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, you got this. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. From here, we're gonna do a little balance. We're gonna take it up on the toes and go back down. Remember, if you need to, you can use that chair for balance. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up for two and down for two. Good job. Up and down. Way up there. Up and down. One more time like this. Up and down. Let's do some singles. Here we go. Eight, seven. Keep breathing. Six. Tighten that belly. Five. That's going to help with the balance. Four, three, two, and one. Hold there for four, three, two, one, down. Woo, shake it out. March over that other side. All right, this time, left foot in front. We're gonna do that arrow pull. Left hand out, right hand forward. Now get your resistance so that you really, when you pull back, you can feel it. In four, three, two, one, here we go. Pull back for two, release. Good, pull back, release. You'll notice there's a little turn in my waist. Good job, pull back and release. Let's do some singles, here we go. Eight, seven, really get there. Yeah, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Get ready, going up on those toes. Here we go, up for two 
and down for two. And down. If that's too much, you could just lift the back heel, yeah? And down, or the front heel. Good. And down. Get ready for singles. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up and down. Two, three. Remember, you can grab that chair if need be. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake it out. All right. We're going to take it down to our chair. Now, I want you to take that band like you're putting on your coat. Wrap it all the way around with the band under those armpits. Now, you'll notice again, I have my handles, but I'm using a little less band. I'm choking up on that band so that I have plenty of resistance. We're going to press it forward for a chest press. All right, so both hands together in three, two, one. Here we go. Press, release. Now, when you pull it back, don't just make it a nothing move. I want you to squeeze those back muscles, those shoulder blades together right there. Up, pull back. One more like this. Press and pull. Let's do some singles. Here we go. Press. Woo. Two, three, four. You got this. Five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it here. Four, one, two. Little pulses. Woo. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right. We're going to go to a leg. Kicking out forward, extending it way far. Here we go. Take it up for two, in and down. Other side. And down. Good job. Lift, extend, and down. One more. Lift, extend. Now we're going to speed it up. Here we go. One, two. Good job. You got this. Three. Keep breathing. Sit up tall. Four, three. Two, one, good job, shake it out. All right, reset. Are we gonna put this together with the arms and the legs? Here we go. So we lift and press and down. Lift, press forward and down. Good job, lift, press forward. You'll notice I go out halfway, now all the way. Good job, lift, Woo. one more. Let's move to singles. Here we go. Out and in. Two. Woo. Three. Really press. Blow that air off. Three. Two. One. Or stay out. Pump it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good job. All right, now we're going to do something special with this band. I'm going to take it, loop it under my seat right here, and take that band. Let's see if I can stand and show you better. So I made a little loop, like so. Take the band over your chair, loop it all the way through, and we're going to use this for some ab work. Now, if you don't have a band, if you don't have the ability to make the chair uh, tied on the chair like this, that's okay. You can still get this done because it's all about you making those muscles contract, making them work as you do the move. So I'm going to sit down, taking my band over my shoulders. Again, grab those handles lightly, but I'm going to get enough resistance on my band so as I pull forward, I can feel that resistance working my core. We're gonna contract that belly button, contract that tummy as we move down, hinging at the hips. Here we go. Take it down for two and up. Good job again. And up, you got it, again. Okay. And up, let's do some singles, eight, Seven. Feel free to adjust that resistance anytime you need to. Four. Three. Pull it in. Two. Ready to hold it? 
Hold it here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Good job. All right. Now, we're going to take it and take it a little slower. You might want to get a little more resistance. Again, this is your chance. We're going to really tuck that belly in. We're going to hold it tight as we go down and blow that air out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and release. Two, three, four. I hinge at those hips. Pull, 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 and release. Good. Inhale. Exhale. And release. I'm contracting that belly as tight as I can. Contract. And release. Let's go down for two. Here we go. Down for two. And up for two. Keep it going. And up. You know, you can work those abs every day. They're so strong. But here's the good news. We're going to do four more. Every time you do a squat, every time you do a lift, you're using that core. Good, two more, two, Woo! last one, good job, release that band, all right, we're going to shake it out, grab a little sip of water in a sec, here we go, let's march it, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's run it out, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, woo! Good job. Grab a little sip of water. <sighs> you know, whenever you feel a little bit of thirst, that's your body telling you, drink some water. And you want to keep doing that throughout your workout because you, you're using water, you're using that hydration through the whole thing. So you want to keep drinking. All right, next tool we're going to use. I didn't mention this before. When we go to reach those tools under the chair, which are there to stay out of your way so you're not tripping, we want to hinge at the hips. Use one side to support that body. Bring that weight up. There you go. And this is a practice that you want to use throughout your daily life. Now, I'm going to show you how to get up from a chair. This could be from your bed, your chair, your couch. You want to always scooch to the end. Hinge over, put the weight in the heels, and then press it up. That's how we do it. Okay, we're going to start with some front raises and side raises. It's going to work our shoulders, our chest, and our upper back. But again, we're still keeping that tummy engaged. That's our powerhouse. So first, with thumbs up, we're going to lift to the front. Here we go. Up for two, and down for two. Now out to the side. You notice my thumbs are up. Here we go, up for two, and down for two. Side, and down, good job. Knees are soft, and down, and side. One more like this, up, and down, good job. Side, and down, let's do some singles to the front. One, two, now we're not just swinging them, we're using our strong muscles to control it. Four, three, whoop, two, one, out to the side, eight, nice, seven, six, five, you've got this, four, three, two, and one, good job, reset those shoulders, I always like to do that between moves, now, I'm going to move to the side of my chair just in case I need it for balance, but this time we're going to lift that leg. So the right leg straight out in front. We're working balance, core, leg strength, and focus. All right, right foot coming up. Here we go. Up for two and down for two. Good. Up. Now on that standing foot, put the pressure in the heel. Good. One more like this. Up and down. Now we're going to speed it up. You may want to grab that chair. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up. Good. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Five. 
six. I'm contracting that belly. Seven. Get ready to hold it. Hold it here. Four, eight, two, one. That's it. Good job. Bring it back in. All right. Let's you march over to the other side. I'm going to actually move my chair so that we kick to the side. I'll have room. All right. We're starting with those lifts with the left leg. Here we go. Up for two and down. The leg is fairly straight. Squeezing those quadriceps. Good job. Lift. Tummy's in and down. One more. Lift. And you may want to grab that chair. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Standing up tall. Six. Five. You got this. Four. It doesn't have to be high. You might even be right there. That's all right. You flex it. Hold right here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay. Back to the other side. We're going to lift it out to the side. Now, I'm going to lift my hand up a little bit. We're going to lift up for two, down for two, working that lateral motion. Here we go. Up for two, down for two. Get those glutes involved. Good. Squeeze and down. This is working your waist too. Up and down. Now singles. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Good job. Four. Three, ready to hold it, hold here, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job, Woo. keep breathing, now, again, same idea, we're lifting to the side, we're fighting for it, we're flexing that leg, squeezing the whole way, here we go, up for two, and down for two, up, and down. I can feel it through the hips, through the leg. If you're just balancing, hold here. There you go. One more. Up and down. Let's do some singles. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Good job. Five, four. Weights in the heel. Three, the standing heel. Two, one. Hold it up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Are you feeling that standing hip? Me too. So the important thing is, I talk about pressing through that heel on that standing leg. So it's going to take some pressure. Also, we don't want to get here. We want to hold up evenly on both sides. Now, we're going to make a little challenge. We're going to add that front raise with the leg. So we'll take the arms up and then the leg up. Now, if that straight leg gets to be too much, go ahead and bend that knee. That's up to you. Get ready. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Arms and leg. Arms and leg. Arms. Make sure that chair is right there if you need a little balance. Arms and leg. Now just the leg raise. Down. Two. Three. Woo. Four. That's it. Four. Three. Two. One. Arms and leg. Hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! I surprised you there. That's a balance hold. You know, we lose balance every year, so we need to practice it just like we do everything else. All right, get ready. Left side, here we go. Arms, and down, and leg, and down. Good job. Lift the arms, and down, and leg, and down. Good job. Arms, down, and leg. And down, good job. Arms, and down, and leg, and down, just the leg. Here we go, eight, seven, six, you got this. Five, come on, four, squeeze those glutes. Three, tummy's contracting, two, one. Good job, hold them both, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, 
One. Woo! Good job. All right. Take it in front. Oh, nice job. Let's bring those arms bent at the waist. We're going to do a little squat. Feet are out about hip to shoulder width apart. Get ready. Here we go. See? And up. Now, we're not going all the way down to that chair yet. But doing these squats in front of that chair helps you with your form. You're imagining that you're going to sit down. All the weights in those heels. Good job. Let's do some singles. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Good job. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Now let's hold it halfway down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it up. All right. You ready for some bicep curls? Three, two, one. Here we go. Pull up to the shoulders and down. Good job. Up and down. Now, don't grip these things too tightly. You want to keep some looseness in those fingers. One more. Up. And down. Now let's do some singles. Eight, seven, six, five. Good job. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Now hold it here. Spin it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. All right. Shake it out. We're going to do one more set. But this time, we're going to put the leg squat and the bicep curl together. So, we're going to squat, up, and lift. Squat for two, up, and lift. There you go. Squat, up, and lift. Squat for two, up. One more like this. Now, let's speed it up. Here we go. One, two. You got this. Pressing those hips back. Remember. Press back. Four. Three. Two. One. Rotate those hands. There you go. Woo. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Grab a little sip of water if you need to. We're going to sit down on this chair now with our weights. We're going to finish with our triceps. We always want to work both sides of the body. We just worked the front, now we're gonna work the back. All right, so I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna flip my palm up. I'm hinging out my hips, so there's a little bend over, and we're gonna lift that hand. Watch here. We're gonna go lift and down. There you go. I'm not going higher than my hip. I started about the leg of the chair. Good job, one more like this. Shoulders are relaxed. Let's do some singles. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Squeeze the back of that arm. There you go. Four. Three. Two. One. Now hold it here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Shake it out. Remember, I've had that a little hinge in those hips. Take that left arm, lower it down, starting right about the leg of the chair. Here we go, hinge and lift. Take it up for two and down for two. Feel in the back of that arm, feel in that shoulder. Wrist is straight, good job. Couple more like this. One more. Let's do eight singles, here we go. Eight, seven, Six. Good job. Five. Four. Three. Two. Get ready to hold it. One. Hold it here. Four. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it up. Little rotator cuff move. Here we go. Out for two. You'll notice my elbows are in. Out. And in. And open up that chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Out and in. Squeeze and contract that belly. Let's go for singles. Two, three, four, 
four, that's it. Five, six, whoop, seven, and eight. Nice job, Woo! shake it out. All right, we're gonna do a little hip rotation. Working the hips, working the low abdominals, and working those legs. So, we're gonna get out of our car. Here's the driver's door. We're gonna lift that leg over into the car and right back out. Here we go, lift and lift. Take it in, now back out. Imagine you're really lifting that leg. Pull in that belly, lift it on in, good job. And out, now, the closer to your knees you put those weights, the heavier they'll feel. Let's do two more. Good. In, back in. One more time out. Out and out. Now just your left leg. I want you to take it in. Lift it. Woo! I can feel those tummy muscles. Hips. Three. Two. One. Now pull it in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Remember, if you take those weights close to the knees, it feels heavier. Two more. One more. Good job. Woo! Shake it out. Reset. Let's bring it out. Now we're getting in and out of the passenger side. Remember, the higher you lift that leg, the harder it's going to get. Here we go. Lift it down. And in. Each time, think about it as a contraction of that tummy. Good job. And in. You got this. Out. Lift it, press it down, in. I'm still sitting up tall. And out, good job. Last time, in the car. Lift, take it out. Right leg, here we go, in. Two, I'm still lifting. Three, four, that's it. Five, Woo. six, seven, Hey, good job. Bring it in. Open it up. Out, out, in, in, out, out. Woo! I've got my heels lifted. I'm lifting up. Imagine there's a little two by four down there. Good. Two more. One more. You got it. All right, up to the edge. We're almost there, guys. We're gonna do a little move called Crazy Eights. Finishing with those strong biceps. Now we're doing a hammer curl. That means the palms are in. We had them up before. Now they're in. We're going to alternate those arms. Here we go. Lift. Woo. I'm flexing those biceps. Flexing those triceps. You've got this. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now, for a finishing touch, we're going to do a rainbow lift. One or two weights lifting over the head. Here we go. Up. Good. Oh, we're putting it all together. Biceps, triceps, shoulders, back and chest. Lift, lift. Woo! Two more. Two. Last one. Yes, you did it. All right. We're going to put those weights down and grab our ball. But first, get a little drink of water. Whoops, those weights want to run away. Get a little drink of water. Ah, feels good. We're getting there, you guys. Only have about 10 more minutes. Woo! And you know, you don't have to do the whole thing every day. If you want to just do 15, 20 minutes, that's great. Any movement is perfect. All right, I'm gonna grab my ball here. All right, we're gonna shake it out. Let's just get that little march going. We're gonna march for three and tap. Here we go. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Left, right, left. Right, good. Let's just do a few more. Two more. Woo! Let's just alternate. Bring in that ball. 
Now up to the shoulder. All right, we're gonna shake it out front. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Overhead, go. Eight, seven, reach. Woo! Four, three, two, down low. One, two, shake it out. Four, three, two, one. Little march. All right, we're gonna shake it side to side. Wide step, three, two, one, here we go, shake. I'm feeling it through the waist, lifting those heels. Four, three, two, one, let's step it forward, one. Oh, I surprised you. Here we go, we're rocking forward, and alternating between those right legs and left legs. <laughs> Right and left. Good job. Couple more. Right and left. Right and left. One more. Open it. Woo! Good. Oh, I can't stop. Well, yes, I can. Let's take it over and over. Over. Woo. Pull it in. Reach. Reach. <laughs> Reach, reach, good job. Let's stir that pot and stir. Woo. Good job, other way. That's it, let's swing. Now we're opening up the shoulders. Four more, three more. Watch here. We're going to do a little balance move. I'm going to hold it up to my right. I'm going to lift that left leg. Here we go. Up and down. Good job. Press up and down. You got this. If you can lift it all the way up, just lift that heel. Two more. Up and down. Nice work. Up and down. Let's swing it out. Here we go. Swing. Woo. Get ready. We're going to lift it to that other side. Hold here. Now lift and down. Good job. Lift and down. Almost there. Lift and down. Pull that belly in. One more. Oh, good job. Beautiful work. All right. We're going to take this ball now. We're going to scoop it up. We're going to bring it up. And reach. Now down and reach. You notice I'm bending my legs. Squat and lift. Good job. Squat and lift. One more time, both sides. Squat and scoop. Good. And lift. Good job. All the way around the head. We take it around. And around, really get into that spine, into those shoulders. Around. And around. Let's scoop and lift. Here we go. Scoop, left, scoop, right. We're speeding it up a wee bit. Four, three, think space between those ribs. Good job, let's take it around, other way. And around. Good. Two more. Yeah. Last one. Now just a little toe tap. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. You're cool. We're getting there. Now heel. Here we go. Heel, 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 heel. heel. Now toe heel. Right leg. There you go. Let's get those elbows out. Stand it up tall. Left leg, heel toe. Four, three, two. Hold it out front. Heel toe. Two, three, four, and left. There you go. Right. And left. Let's alternate. Left. Woo. Two. 
three, four. Now drive that wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take it to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Other side. Good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! <sighs> Big deep breath. Let's take that ball. We're going to set it back under our chair. You notice I bend my knees. Set it right back down. All right, let's take it around to the side. We're going to do a few stretches, really getting into our cool down. We're going to stretch and balance. Let's first take that right arm. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Again, inhale. Big space between the ribs and exhale. Now, I want you to take your right foot out in front of that left foot, cross it over, and now we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we reach. Let that left arm bend. Keep breathing. Just drop as low as you can. And now we take it around one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Two, three, and four. Good job. Let's take it to the back of our chair. Now, while we're, I'm going to turn my chair to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, there goes my ball. First up, we're going to take that right foot back. I'm going to press into my heel. You can see I've kind of like a bored 45 degree angle shape. I'm pressing into this back heel to feel a nice stretch through that calf, through that hamstring. If you're not feeling it, you can get a little wider. And thankfully, you've got your chair there for balance. Now I want you to round up on your toe. This feels so good. It's my favorite. And press all the way back. Keeping those shoulders relaxed. Now bend that knee. See, I've got my back knee bent, and I'm pressing into the hip flexor. That's what this is called right here. Good. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale and release. Good job. Let's go to the other side of the chair. I'm just going to kick this ball out of the way. Let's go to the other side for our side stretches. Now think we're opening up that shoulder. Stretching the side. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now we're going to just take that left foot now and cross it over the right foot. We're going to get a little deeper into this side stretch, feeling it all the way down into that leg through that side and arm. Let's inhale and exhale. Nice deep stretch. Just go as deep as you can. And let's lower in front. Coming up. Let's inhale up. And exhale, stretch. Two, three, four, and down. And around. Good job. Now again, I'll show you from the side. I'm going to take that left foot, press it back into the heel, feeling a nice stretch through my calf, through my hamstring. And you'll notice my body is kind of in a 45 degree angle. I'm not here, but I'm here. Lifting through that belly. Shoulders are down away from the ears. Good. Now roll up under the toes, my favorite. And back through that whole foot. And press into that heel. And now drop that back knee. And we're just putting pressure, a little pelvic tilt, into that hip flexor. Feel that nice stretch. Good. And inhale. And exhale. Let's take it down to our chair. So come on around. Nice job. Let's take a big deep inhale as we open those arms. And exhale. 
Now you'll notice I'm rounding the back and now I'm going to lace the fingers and press. I'm contracting my belly so I can feel that nice stretch through my upper back. And now we're going to release and open, take those hands to the back of that chair if you can, wherever it might be. Even if you can't grab the drop of your back of your chair, you can just hold those arms back and press. I'm dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Good. Let's bring those arms back out now. Let's rotate those hands one way. And other way. Good job, and let's play that piano, shaking out those fingers. Beautiful. We're gonna do one more hip stretch for the hips and the glutes. If you can, bring that foot over the opposite knee. If you can't take it all the way up, you can hold and cross at the ankles. But I'm gonna bring mine up. And I'm going to give a little bit of pressure, a little press through that right arm. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and point and flex that foot. This is a great stretch to open up those hips. Now, from sitting up, if you'd like to get a little deeper, you can hinge over. You can stabilize that foot. I'm not rounding the back. I'm just hinging at the hips. Feel that nice stretch around the side and the rear there. Good, and let's inhale. And exhale, shake it out, release. And we're gonna go to the other side, bring that foot up, across the opposite knee, sitting up tall, feeling that nice stretch. And go ahead and point and flex that foot. Good. Hinge forward. Good, and come on up. Shake it out, release. Ah, well done. Let's just take a moment to feel all that good energy we just created. If you like, just close your eyes or find a place on the wall. Inhale. And exhale. At the end of any workout, you always want to take a moment to appreciate what your strong body just, just did. And I like to end with an X in isometric hold, rather, where we tighten and flex all of those muscles. We keep breathing and then we release them and they can really fully feel that release. So go ahead, drop those hands to your side, make a fist. We're going to inhale. And exhale, and as you keep slowly breathing, I want to think about flexing. Flexing the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the arms, the belly, the legs, the calves, the feet. Now hold for a couple breaths, inhale, keep flexing, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale and release. Good job. Go ahead and sit back in your chair. You did great work today. Remember that anything you do is amazing and is perfect. Appreciate yourself. Do good self talk and keep it going. And join me next time. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks so much. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe down in the link below. You'll find a playlist called Fitness with Amy. Love to see you there. We'll be releasing videos that you can come and join and work out with me. Thanks again.